we definitely see the nexus between data center consolidation and cloud because what we don't want to do is from all of these places just pick up hardware and just move it into a centralized data center so we just moved a bunch of stuff in there right so what we're doing as we go through and map our rooms we're looking to see what's in them and quite frankly there's probably some stuff we've already seen that we just need to get rid of <laughs> no you know old databases right. and stuff well we're mapping that and we're asking ourselves what's the best thing to do with this and if and in some cases uh like the colonel was saying, maybe a good fit is a, a public cloud environment, some of our lower risk top items. Uh, we've already made a decision in FAA to move our email to the cloud. Uh, we haven't yet. We're going through the acquisition process as we speak. Uh, but there will always be some stuff that will be inside the FAA. And so knowing that and recognizing that, we've already moved out on the effort to uh, stand up a private cloud inside the FAA. And we're hoping, now the timing is not all there yet, but we're hoping that as we go through that we'll be able to possibly move some of these things into the private cloud. Now having said that, we ask ourselves, will every, you know, will some of the uh, apps and et cetera have to be re-architected in order to run in a cloud? That's a big question for us. Right. So it's not as easy as just maybe saying it. We recognize that. But we definitely are trying to think about cloud as we as we do data center consolidation. Yeah, I bet there's going 